Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Macross Gacha videos with me. As you can tell, if you take a look at the banners here, you can immediately see um, a probably a familiar kind of banner or poster that was used as one of the more recent uh, fashionable Macross events uh, that was held earlier this year. And of course, it belongs to the fashionable Macross uh, guys site. So, Basically, it was a fashionable Macross just to promote the guys within the Macross franchise, although some characters did not make into the lineup, which is kind of sad. But anyway guys, let's take a look at the brand new gacha, um, and of course, let's see whether these episode plates are actually useful, or maybe you want to consider obtaining them now, or maybe in the future, because, well, exclusive plates like this do return to the gachas as regular pools, like we've seen with um, the exclusive for Messer and Keith, uh, their Valkyries drawn by Tenjin Sama. And of course, we've seen you know the episode plates that belong to uh, Macross Crossover Live uh, returning to certain gachas as well. And of course, we managed to pull some of them out from the free template pools. These are not exclusive to these current gachas. So if you guys don't have the Singing Stones, uh, like I myself do not have as well. At this point in time, I only got 230. I might not be able to do a template pool. And the template pools are not discounted because these are kind of like an exclusive promotion gacha. It's not exactly like a gacha that's uh, brand new to an event, which will have that discounted rate of 300 singing stones. So let's take a look at all three episode plates. Uh, as you could tell from the gacha banner, or rather gacha menu, right now, um, Alto and Brera's plates are the ones that are being uh, boosted with the rare appearance. So, it is easier to get Brera and Alto's plate right now. Uh, I won't be making a video for, you know, when the gacha changes over to Keith's messers, that of course we have, um, we have Osma. <laughs> I, I'm having a hard time remembering their names. Osma, Arad, and um, of course, Roy Fokker. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time remembering their names. Anyway, um, all three plates actually give you different costume points to three different Valkyries that all have been unlocked um, before. So they are basically just giving you extra costume points for the Valkyries to get uh, episode orbs. So if you guys have not unlocked any of the three Valkyries, you can tell um, whichever plates they are attached to. Alright, so we have Arats attached to the three guys. And of course, Keith and Messer belongs to Messer's Valkyrie. So if you have not unlocked any of the three Valkyries, um, you might want to focus on the gacha that belongs to that particular episode plate with that uh, set of points for that Valkyrie itself. Uh, or maybe if you ladies are just here for your favorite male characters, uh, you might want to focus on the gacha that has uh, your, male, your main male character being promoted. So just wait out until that gacha rotates around. Because right now it is Brera and Altos, I would definitely love to do a template pool but sadly to say, my singing stone counts does not actually allow me to do so. Uh, although, Dana is giving out free singing stones during this time or period. Uh, I'll put the banner image here on the screen. Uh, I'm sure if you log in today, you probably have seen it as well to promote the current gacha that is currently going on that we are doing right now. And yeah, they are giving out about 225 singing stones. It is definitely not enough to do a template pool. But you can definitely do single pools within the gacha itself and hopefully um, obtain the episode plate uh, depending on your luck. If you have been having good luck with your template pools, you might want to stay away from single pools. But if you are having bad luck pools for quite some time, uh, you might want to consider doing single pools because uh, your luck might change with single pools instead of template pools. So anyway guys, I'm going to do, I don't know, I have 230, I might do three single pulls uh, and hopefully I might pull out the Brera Alto plate uh, which I really really want because of Brera Sama. Uh, just doing this for uh, the sister <laughs> Ranka. <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm gonna do three single pulls 
hopefully things go well. If not, well, uh, I'm gonna have to wait for these episodes to come around again. Maybe within other gachas, and hopefully enough, I might get them later on in the years uh, of Uta Macross gameplay. Uh, I'm not in a rush to get them. After all, the costume points attached to these episode plates are old Valkyries. Um, so yeah, so the first one failed. That's fine. Oh, the plate evolved. So that's kind of a bonus, I guess. <laughs> Alright, here goes second single pool. So no loading bar at the bottom. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, usually the loading bar... Uh, uh, is, how is it? signifies there is something new going to be added into your game data. So that's kind of a bummer if there isn't a loading bar. Oh, I don't think I have this. Maybe I do, but I don't recall. Yeah. Alright, here we go, the last single pool. Oh, no loading bar again. That's kind of a bummer. That's fine. So, like I said, I wasn't really um, in the need for these episode plates. Oh, I forgot to even go through the stats of the episode plates. <laughs> I got so excited. Eh? Alright, so let's leave the information of the three episode plates to the last part of the video. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go back into the gacha banner and let's take a look at the episode plates itself and consider maybe uh, if you... Are capable of investing money into them maybe these episode plates might help you out in your gameplay considering that maybe their stats and their skills might be better than what you currently have but from our experiences um, with such episode plates that have exclusive appearance um, they don't really have fantastic stats except for the Messer and Keith one with their Valkyries that one was actually very good um, so let's see for sure ourselves uh, whether these episode plates are actually useful or not. So 3600 total score even with the luck value maxed out. That's kind of low uh, considering that we see episode plates with 3800 total score right now. And surprisingly enough, these episode plates are like the crossover live versions where they don't have a full lineup of divas equipable with them. Only characters that are related to Brera and Elto, but I'm pretty surprised why Makina, Rei, uh, and Reina are kind of inside this list. Uh, maybe they are attached to Brera. <laughs> I don't know. But Ranka and Cheryl definitely because, well, you know, love triangle between Elto and of course Ranka belongs with Brera or Nichan. Uh, yeah, so surprising with Maki Rei. Alright, so Center skill, A rank, so not meant to be used as a center position episode plate. Alright, love, element songs, units total, uh, boosted by 25% up. Alright, active skill, life recovery, 50%. And of course, life skill, S rank, score and damage. So it's got a pretty decent life skill. Um, probably usable still as a life skill, high score, purpose episode plate. Um, active skill is pretty decent as well. Uh, if you want to show off your episode plate as a center position, and of course using it to uh, clear missions during the second event of the month. Alright, let's move to the last page, which is the most important, because we want to find out whether it has a special note attached to it. So, wow! Okay, it does have a special note attached to it, which is for high score purpose usage. So with this, I'm going to rate this episode plate as a tier 2, mainly in tier 2 because of the mediocre total average score. Uh, there are definitely episode plates way better than this one in terms of total score that also has that um, high score note attached to it. So yeah guys. Um, if you guys don't have any episode plates that are better than this one uh, and, you, and you need episode plates for the love element or the pink element um, you know, status uh, for high score usage you might consider investing in pulling this episode plate right now since the gacha is promoting uh, Brera and Elto's episode plate at this point of time. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. 
Okay, it belongs to the blue element episode plate. So pretty much similar, 3600 range, just that the main focus is on Soul instead of Charm. Brera and Eltos was on Charm. And of course, uh, well, we have Kaname because, you know, Arad is here. <laughs> and Ranka because Osma is here. So, so far, Ranka is equipable with both two of the episode plates out of three. Uh, then we have Milane. Why Milane? Huh. Is it because Osma likes Fire Bomber? But then Basara should be included, right? <laughs> I really have no idea what's with this lineup. But Min Mei, yes, I guess so because Roy Fokker is there. So, but, you know, considering that. Uh, Hikaru is not in the lineup, so I guess that's the only chance that Minmei will appear to have an episode played from this um, lineup. So, alright, center skill, so it's the same as Brera and Altos, it's just that it's focusing on the element that the episode plate is uh, for. Then, of course, active skill, life recovery, 50% up, and it seems like all the skills are exactly the same so far. So, score and damage for the life skill. Now, let's see whether this one also comes with the high score note. Apparently so. Huh. So, I guess the fa uh, Fashionable by Cross guys side episode plates are all going to be the same. It's just that um, you just have to take note of the Divas equipable with the plates plus the points for the Valkyries that you wish to unlock. And of course, you know, the element, whichever one you are going to aim for if you guys aren't fans of the male characters you're just a hardcore music game player that kind of stuff so yeah all right let's take a look at the last plate it should be of the uh, focus on the yellow element which is the voice stat then of course the skill should be the same and it should have that uh, high score note attached to it so yeah looking like it and of course Freya Mikumo Kaname um, equipable with this plate. So sadly the same Maki Ray is only equipable with Brea and Eltos. And strangely enough, why is Basara on this one? <laughs> okay. Um, so life skill and active skills are exactly the same as we predicted. So let's see the last page. Yep. So I guess all, all three plates are going into the tier 2 department. Because, um, well, like I said, the total average score on these episode plates are not the best we've seen. But they are still pretty useful in terms of high score achievements. So guys, if you guys don't have any episode plates that are of this standard, or maybe you have not gotten anything that's better than this, you might want to invest pulling into this gacha. Although it is kind of last minute that Dana has added this into the game. Uh, with only less than 24 hours on notification um, yeah um, you probably might not have enough singing stones to do the pools unless you're a whaler you can invest money into the game to purchase singing stone packs and of course pull out these episode plates as of this time for myself I normally would invest money into this but I'm extremely broke this month. <laughs> so, uh, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully all the information I shared with you on the three episode plates within this fashionable Macross guy site uh, gacha. You find it useful, let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment your thoughts on the three episode plates in the comments down below. And of course, share this video to all your Uta Macross playing friends who are still playing the game. And subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. Hopefully you are. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> and of course, I will see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!